Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. Today, I'm gonna review the Marvel Legends Retro Mr. Fantastic. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below to let me know what you think, and subscribe to this channel hitting that notification bell for more content just like this. Also, check out our Instagram page. So this is Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four. Reed Richards is his normal name, and this is his appearance as drawn by Jack Kirby way back in the day. That's why you see him with the blue and the white colors and gloves, as opposed to the standard black that has been seen in modern renditions of him. And this is Mr. Fantastic out of the packaging, and I currently have him in his lab coat, but he also comes with two sets of arms with two stretchy hands that you can change out in and out with these default hands so that you can just get him in his regular blue and white uniform without the lab coat. So before I really get into all the intricacies, I was just gonna show you guys the articulation. He is able to kick his butt even with the lab coat on, which is actually pretty impressive. And the legs are able to go out, oh, not too far. Um, the thighs do swivel. Now, one thing that really sucked on my figure is this particular ankle is just stuck in there. And I think it's because of the way they've painted this leg here. I think they must have gotten some paint caught inside because it just was not moving. And even still, like when I put it down, the toe kind of sticks up because it's just not sitting straight there. But the arms are able oop, to come up to just about 90. It's able to swivel there, by, uh, I guess bicep swivel. You're able to bend the arms to just past 45, and the arms or the hands turn just like that and swivel in and out like so. The head turns left and right. He's able to turn down that far. He's able to look up this far. And he does have ab crunch and even with the coat on, he can, well, maybe this is not as far back as I thought, but he's able to turn back just a little bit. Now, getting his arms off is as easy as just popping them out the sides, just like that. And then you just peel the lab coat off. It's just a soft rubber, and you can stick these arms in. And shows him in, it looks like he's like reaching for something with both of his hands, which is pretty great. And there you go, that is the look. Now, one thing that has been a little bit disappointing about this figure is there's a lot of just paint applications that just, I think, aren't that great. There's so much, or there's so many like parts where the blue is shining through the white paint, and I, I think that's just super annoying for me. Um, and the foot was also an issue, his right foot. Um, but look, there's like some extra paint that was splotched over there now that's about as far back as he goes but like without the lab coat you get a better idea of how much he can go let's see if the legs can go any wider now that you get the lab coat off yeah a little bit wider so that's pretty good i mean he does stand on his own so that's always good and the hands are interchangeable so you just oh wait hold on yep you pop it right off like that you Put this hand on and just put the wrist peg in. I actually don't know if that was the way it was intended, but that's the way I'm using it because it, uh, it seems to work pretty well. So just to provide some perspective, I've put Mr. Fantastic next to a Marvel Legends Black Tom Cassidy on the right. And then on the left, we have a Mezco 112 Collective Deathstroke. And you can tell that he is far skinnier than the two, but also his head is just super small. And I don't know if that's because Black Tom's head is too big or if Mr. Fantastic's head is too small. I know he's like a tall, skinny, lanky guy, but it, it just seems like, one, he should have been a little bit taller because it looks like he's a little bit shorter than both of these guys. But also his head is just way too small in scale to his body. I think the head should have been closer to Black Tom Cassidy's size, despite the fact that it is a skinny character. So all in all, I would say this is a decent figure, but I would get it on sale. I mean, I do love the Fantastic Four and that would, that's why I bought it uh, pretty much on release. They actually pre-ordered it, but the figure just came in today. But the head sculpt is, I mean, 
if it wasn't for the scaling issues with the body, I would say this is an excellent head sculpt. It, it looks great. The paint applications are great. The eyes, the eyebrows, everything was painted well. It's just the, I don't know. It's, I, I guess I never had any other Mr. Fantastic figures before. So maybe I really don't know what it should look like. And now he's having some trouble standing, but all in all, it was a, it's a decent figure. Not as detailed as some might want, but this is pretty accurate to the classic Jack Kirby look. Anyways, that's it for my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to this channel hitting that notification bell for more content just like this. Thanks guys. Bye.